do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you doing? Well, it's time almost for me to get up and do my exercise regime. Welcome to Pillow Talk by Leslie Jordan. Today's story is about Betty White. Well, it, it, um, it's something I've always craved. I mean, as an actor, you want attention, and I've certainly gotten my share of attention. Even when I won an Emmy, see how I got that one in? <laughs> Nothing like this. Once you get to that internet, um, uh, with with so many followers. What was interesting to me was the way in which offers started coming in to push products, and I I did not. I'm telling you, I, I did not know the word monetize. I had never heard, I mean, I guess I'm sure I've heard the word, but all of a sudden people are trying to monetize, you know, so it's been, it's been a wonderful, wonderful, and you know, the thing is, the, the comments, which I can't read all, there's like, there'll be like 5,000, but people really do say things like, I've had a really bad day, you know, and I'm locked up with my kids and my husband want to kill each other, and thank you, and so, you know, that's, that's wonderful, that is, you know, that. So that's my job right now, just to, um, I don't want to tell you, put your mask on or anything like that. I'm just here to do funny stories, and, and, and that's my job right now. Even the downward dog and all that, I believe, I believe I should probably move on to the intermediate. Let's move it forward. Well, she's not supposed to see him, and my sisters police it pretty good. There'll be days I'll say, uh-uh-uh, don't. -uh, no. She just, you know, even when she saw my stand-up act years ago, which I can get very blue, um, she said, you weren't raised like that. Why would you want to talk like that? And, you know, I have, I can't even go to Sunday school, she told me one time. <laughs> she said, you, the way you talk, I can't even face the girls in Sunday school. <laughs> so. My daddy was a shaving, as the story goes. The razor slipped and it cut off his nose. My personal story is that when this all happened, I remember thinking to myself, I've been through this before. We, you know, as a gay man, I buried an entire phone directory back in the 80s. And we looked at one another as a community and we thought, nobody's going to help us. We've got to, we've got to take care of our own here. And we came through that a stronger community. We came through that kinder, I think, and more apt to, uh, to help one another. And I see that on a worldwide basis now because this, it, it doesn't matter, gay, straight, black, white, Latin, it, you know, all of us are in this together. And I think we're going to come out the other side just kinder, more apt to help one another. And, you know, because we all went through this together.